Hi, Nick at Clean PC, and today we'll be doing a Linux distribution review for Pop OS 20.04. Pop OS is based on Debian and Ubuntu Linux. It originates in the United States. Currently, as of today, July 9th, 2020, it ranks 10th in DistroWatch, and they categorize it for desktop usage or live media. So, want to talk real quickly about the installation. was very impressed. Um, they've got a really nice graphical installer, just a few options, and it's very quick. I think the full install was done in probably under 10 minutes, so probably one of the snappier installations I've done. So great job to the developers on that. Um, we're booted into the desktop. Uh, I'm running this virtualized on Proxmox, so it has four CPU, four gigs of RAM. And we can see here, uh, nice looking distribution, really well done. Uh, one thing, though, I had some trouble with, and it's probably because I'm running it virtualized, but this activities menu, when you click on it, it definitely lags a little bit. Um, we have our option for Firefox, Files, Terminal, uh, the Pop Shop, and then we can look at the applications. Now, because I'm running this virtualized, when I click in here, normally you can click Escape and get out, but because I'm running it virtualized, if I hit Escape, I'll exit my full screen, so I can't really do that. So I'm kind of forced to select something. Um, so if we go into system, you can see the options in here. And we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the system monitor. So I'll go ahead and click through on that. Here we can see this gives you a nice readout in terms of CPU and RAM usage. So one of the nice things about Pop! OS is that it's based on Debian and Ubuntu. Um, and there's tons of packages available for it. So um, the base install doesn't have a whole lot of applications installed on it. That's one thing I did notice, which is fine. Um, certainly a choice they made, and maybe that's part of the reason the install is so quick. Um, but one of the things I like to do is go ahead and add just a couple of uh, applications that I find useful. So I normally add a program called Gnome Do, but with uh, Pop! OS version 20.04 being based on Ubuntu, uh, Gnome Do is no longer available. So I did a little research and found out there's a program called Synapse. Um, that does basically the same thing. So because of that little stickiness with the activities menu, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So you activate it by hitting control space and then it comes up. So if we type in TER, it knows that we're looking for the terminal. It suggests it. And we can go ahead and we can run NeoFetch. And again, we can see we've got Pop! OS 20.04 and all the particulars about the distribution. Again, desktop environment is GNOME. Uh, the dark theme that it's running, GNOME Terminal, so really cool, definitely a fan. Also installed HTOP, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, even though we've got the system monitor open. Again, just another version of that. And we can see we're using a little over a gig of RAM, which I feel like is a little bit high, but the distribution is pretty snappy and visually appealing, so I guess it's just using a little bit more of RAM. Um, and that's okay. I think it's it's definitely well worth it, but just something to note. So we got both those open. Um, does come with LibreOffice, so we can open the writer up, and it again it opens really quickly, um, which is nice to see. And then I went ahead and installed Genie, just an editor I really enjoy. Um, small application under 12 megs um, has color coding, so if you edit files, HTML, JSON. Um, you know, anything, it's got color coding built in, really nice. So just went ahead and opened that up. We'll close that out. And just want to open files. So uh, was really impressed with files, actually. This is uh, probably one of the nicer file managers that I've run into. Um, so lots of options up here got the drop down we can add bookmarks select all properties we can open it in terminal which is really nice we can search over here we can toggle the different views we can look at our options our sort our zoom percentage again tons of options over here preferences keyboard shortcuts so really really impressed with files and you can see it's uh, files 3.36.3 .3. so Really, first time I've ever run into this and uh, was super impressed in it. We'll go into Etsy. And we can go into Apt. And if we go ahead and click on 
sources.list opens real quick close that out and then we're gonna go ahead and open Firefox and we'll go to distro watch love to give those guys a click and bookmark the pop os site so here you can just see some of the information uh, when we're already and also want to give the pop os team a click on their website cool site loads really fast um, super impressed they kind of highlight the cool stuff in pop os also wanted to highlight their support site so this is kind of cool. I went here. It actually lets you submit a support ticket. I was like blown away. That was such a cool feature. Um, so their community seems to be really involved in uh, the operating system and basically solving any issues you have with it, um, which is really nice. You're not going to find that uh, level of service with a, a lot of distribution. So kudos to the development team. That's really cool. And again, they've got a ton of information on here. Um, shows you all about your PC, your connections. So really cool. Just was very impressed uh, with the team had done with their website and their support. So definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you're new to Linux. Um, definitely go here, take it all in. It's certainly a great resource to use. And like I said, as you can see, using a little bit of RAM, uh, but the operating system is super responsive. So definitely worth um, that RAM because this thing is operating at a very quick pace and um, just super impressed with it overall. Again, not a lot of stuff installed by default, but um, that's a great thing about Linux. You can install whatever programs you're comfortable with and, uh, and kind of customize it, you know, to what you want it to be. So we're going to go in here, and just take a look at the settings real quick. So we can see under appearance, we can change our desktop background. Um, it came with this one right here. I wasn't a huge fan of that, so I just changed it to this. Um, but they've got lots of options in here, so kind of cool to scroll through. Um, you can look at the notifications um, for the applications and for the system, what you want set. Again, we can look at all the applications here and the different options that we can set in the settings. Privacy, which is really nice. Location services, Thunderbolt, file history, screen lock. You can link your online accounts, sharing, look at sound, power usage, really nice if you're running on a laptop. We can look at our display. Uh, one thing to note, so I'm running 1920 by 1080. Really nice to see running this virtualized that I was able to set that to the highest resolution, so really cool. Always great when that happens. Sometimes some distributions, uh, you're limited to like 800 by 600 uh, or 1024 by 768. So really nice to see that I uh, was able to get full resolution on that. Again, mouse and touchpad, keyboard shortcuts, printers, removable media, and color. And kind of cool, it picked up my two brother printers. Even though it's virtualized, still sees that. So awesome. Just another great thing about Linux printers are never an issue and man that's come a long way because 10 15 years ago printers used to be an issue but not anymore so just really nice distribution um, really well done got to give the pop OS team a lot of credit really pleased with this distribution um, I highly recommend if you're interested download it check it out um, install it if you have the opportunity I do not think you'll be disappointed so hope you liked the video please like and subscribe